Where the world of flight meets the world of secrecy, a secret world unfolds in the vastness of the sky. It is a world of innovation that is hidden from prying eyes. In this video, we set out on an unparalleled odyssey, an expedition to unravel the mystique enshrouding the United States' most enigmatic military aircraft. We'll go deep into the hallways of the unknown and peel back layers of mystery to find hidden wonders. Our journey starts in a place where innovations resonate in the air. This place is the vast expanse of Antelope Valley, which is located in California. On this sacred ground, where some of the biggest names in the aerospace industry come together, history is being made. The Skunk Works Division of Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and the Armstrong Flight Research Center of NASA are just a few examples of companies that have left their indelible mark on the skies. Our story starts with revealing the mysterious TR-3A Black Manta, the crown jewel of covert aircraft. The U.S. Air Force and Northrop work together in an amazing way to make this stealthy wonder. Each part of its design was a planned work of genius. It was put together to make it almost invisible to radar. Yet, the TR-3A Black Manta's audacious power plant truly thrust it into the realm of the extraordinary. Imagine a captivating fusion of science fiction and reality. A circular plasma-filled accelerator ring, a magnetic field disruptor gracefully encircling the cockpit. This daring technological feat was nothing short of revolutionary. Imagine this. Deep inside the Black Manta, where the pressure was extremely high, a captivating dance of mercury took place. This mixture set out on a voyage that broke convention, forming an anti-gravity field, an anti-gravity field that exceeded the very laws of physics. The journey was fueled by the limitless energy of nuclear power, which led to the creation of an anti-gravity field. Ingenuity was on full display as the airplane was propelled to realms previously regarded as the stuff of dreams, thanks to this feat. This strange arrangement of parts led to a wonderful thing, an airplane that was almost weightless and flew through the sky with only a fraction of its predicted weight. The result was a craft that could move in ways that had never been done before, avoiding the limits of gravity. By carefully placing conventional thrusters at the plane's ends, it could dance through the air in three dimensions, defying the usual limits of flight dynamics. But there's more to the story. Whispers carried by the winds of secrecy hinted at the Black Manta's role beyond the skies. It is said that during the Gulf War, this enigmatic marvel played a pivotal role, lending its expertise in laser targeting to Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk bombers. Picture it, a ballet of precision and technology, orchestrating destruction with laser-guided precision, the Black Manta quietly guiding its airborne compatriots to their targets. Others say that the secrets of the Black Manta go even further. It was a secret experiment, a place to try theories about aerodynamics. It was used to create the legendary Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, a strategic reconnaissance marvel that went down in history. It's intriguing that the Black Manta's shadow went far beyond the size of its wings, which would later grow into amazing feats of flight. The Black Manta's presence was talked about all over the world, leaving a trail of mystery over the skies of Belgium. Witnesses were confused as they looked up and were pulled to a strange object with four bright lights, a classic case of mistaken identity. UFO stories about this amazing thing were made up, but nobody knew that the truth was even more unimaginable than fiction. Our journey unfurls further with the F-117 Nighthawk, a true sentinel of the night, a masterpiece of stealth that shattered the conventions of aerial warfare. The F-117 Nighthawk was a gem of design and engineering. It had a striking, angular shape but was also a symphony of stealth, with every part carefully made for tactical brilliance. During Operation Desert Storm, when it was first used in combat, it changed the way wars were fought forever. This showed how well it could avoid enemy radar while delivering hits that didn't match its stealthy style. As the Nighthawk came out of the shadows, its sharp edges weren't just a cool design feature, they were a stroke of genius. In order to reduce its radar cross-section, every angle and surface had to be calculated. This was made possible by careful shape and high-tech materials. This wasn't just any plane, it was a hunter that sneaked past the enemy's defenses and hit with a silence that didn't match the destructive power it brought. During Operation Desert Storm, the Nighthawk's real strength was shown. 
It went into the heart of enemy land without being seen and hit targets with surgical precision. Its innovative design let it take advantage of the gaps in the enemy's radar coverage, making it an almost unseen force that changed how modern battlefields are fought. The Nighthawk did more than just destroy things. It changed the way people thought about aerial warfare by bringing a new model of stealth and accuracy. The F-117 Nighthawk's legacy was much bigger than just its military achievements. Its design set the groundwork for future generations of stealth aircraft, led to advances in technology, and changed how to hide from being seen. Its actions in the skies above Desert Storm will go down in history as a warning that innovation can change the rules of engagement when done in secret. As the Nighthawk flew through the dark skies and told stories of victory and defeat, its presence was a mystery that only a small group of people knew about. But even the most powerful technology can fail, as a Nighthawk did over Serbian land when it was shot down by enemy radar. Transitioning seamlessly from the Nighthawk's lore, we now venture into the realm of unmanned aerial guardians, the enigmatic RQ-170 Sentinel. Conceived within the sanctums of Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division, the Sentinel took flight as a silent Sentinel, tirelessly observing and gathering intelligence from above. The RQ-170 Sentinel is a perfect example of how stealth technology has changed over time. Its smooth, sharp shape, like that of a creature of the night, was carefully made to fool radar systems and let it sneak through the air without being seen. As it gracefully soars, it carries a clandestine mission to serve as the watchful eye in the sky, surveying regions far and wide. Behind its mysterious appearance is a symphony of modern engineering. This strange flying thing came from Skunk Works, known for its ability to develop new ideas. Engineers worked hard with one goal in mind, to make an unmanned flying vehicle that would change the rules of reconnaissance. The Sentinel's ability to do many different jobs is as impressive as its design. From quiet, remote places to the middle of busy cities, it sneaks into the sky and keeps an eye on things without being seen or heard. Its high position lets it watch over large areas, and its keen eyes can pick up on the smallest details of life below. Its stealthy shape hides advanced tracking systems that give it a unique view of its surroundings. Synthetic aperture radar cuts through the darkness to map the landscape with a level of accuracy that is hard to believe. Signal's intelligence equipment listens carefully and overhears whispers from far away. With each flight, the Sentinel puts together a mosaic of information, a puzzle of data that shows a clear picture of the world. But the Sentinel's mission extends beyond collection. It's a master of transmission, too. As it hovers high above, it relays its discoveries to those who seek knowledge from its watchful gaze. In an age where information is power, the Sentinel stands as an embodiment of that truth, a sentinel of data guarding against the shadows of uncertainty. The Sentinel needs constant care, just like any other guardian. Expert workers carefully take care of its shape to make sure it stays at the top of its game. The connection between man and machine is like a dance with each one depending on the other to do its job. Over the years, the RQ-170 Sentinel has etched its name in the annals of military history. Its watchful gaze has provided crucial intelligence during pivotal moments. Its presence is felt even when unseen. From diplomatic negotiations to covert operations, the Sentinel's contributions reverberate throughout the corridors of power. Outside of war, the Sentinel takes on a different role, that of a protector. During humanitarian crises, it looks over disaster-stricken areas and uses its clear view to guide relief efforts. In these times, it's more than just an airplane. It represents the hope and strength of people. The Sentinel's story is one of quiet watchfulness, of a defender in the air gathering valuable information. Its mysterious veil of secret was lifted for a short time when Iranian forces got a lost Sentinel because of a technical glitch. From the rough landscapes of Afghanistan to the faraway skies of Russia, the Sentinel kept a watchful eye on everything. It saw the ups and downs of history, recorded important information, and helped us learn more about how the world works. The next stop on our journey is the domain of speculative marvels, where science fiction and innovation intersect. The Boeing Bird of Prey. The Bird of Prey, an invention of Boeing's Phantom Works defied convention and redefined the essence of aircraft design. The bird of prey stories show how bold and creative people can be. They are about a story that went against the rules and went into uncharted land. 
Inside the secret rooms of Boeing's visionaries was born a new era of airplane design, one that used the power of cutting-edge computer modeling and changed the landscape of aviation for good. This plane was more than just a piece of metal. It was a computer symphony of new ideas. In the ethereal world of virtuality, engineers and artists carefully shaped its shape, making sure that every curve was just right. This bold approach to planning and building left an indelible mark on the history of flight, going beyond what was thought to be possible at the time. The bird of prey's graceful shape and smooth, streamlined body hid a secret. Airplane design was no longer limited by the limitations of standard blueprints and physical prototypes. Every curve, angle, and dimension went through a dance of pixels and algorithms that pushed the limits of vision and engineering. But this music of new ideas was not just limited to the digital world. As soon as word got out about the Bird of Prey project, rumors spread like wildfire. The plane's strange similarity to the famous Klingon Bird of Prey from the popular Star Trek series added to the mystery. It was a mix of science fiction and real life, which only added to the mystery of this secret creation. In 2002, the Shroud of Secrecy was finally lifted, and the Bird of Prey emerged from the shadows making its home at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force in Wright-Patterson, Ohio. Visitors from around the world marveled at its unique design, a testament to the audacity of human imagination and the power of pushing technological boundaries. Today, the Bird of Prey stands not only as an artifact of innovation, but as a testament to the unrelenting human spirit that drives us to push boundaries. Its presence within the hallowed halls of the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force echoes a challenge. A challenge to dream, explore, and redefine the very limits of what is possible. Our journey through the secret world of U.S. military flight has shown us things we could never have imagined. But our journey is far from over. As we move through the halls of secrecy and innovation, the amazing story of the Aurora beckons us to another mysterious episode. Look at the Aurora a name that's talked about in the world of conspiracies and a story that's shrouded in the mystery of extraterrestrial tales. Even though there has been no official proof, there is a lot of talk about this supposed hypersonic reconnaissance aircraft. Could the Aurora be the next plane after the famous SR-71 Blackbird, which was made to fly into the sky and map the unknown? In the world of supersonic wonders, rumors of the Aurora's Mach 6 speed and a hard-to-find pulse detonation engine have made it a dream. This supposed technological marvel, which is said to be able to travel long distances in just a few hours, is still a mystery. Its presence cannot be confirmed or denied, and its secrets are hidden in the dark. Some contend that the Aurora's exploits extend beyond the boundaries of our blue planet, reaching deep into the cosmos. Could this covert craft possess the capability to transcend Earth's atmosphere and venture into the void of space? As we ponder the possibilities, one thing remains clear. The Aurora continues to captivate the minds of aviation enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists. From sightings over the South China Sea to unexplained phenomena captured by vigilant eyes, the Aurora's lore blurs the lines between fact and fiction. Could it be that this elusive aircraft, rumored to exist on the fringes of classified technology, is a testament to humanity's insatiable thirst for innovation. But wait, this video is far from over. As we delve deeper, we encounter a phenomenon that defies the conventional laws of flight, a phenomenon known as the TR-3B Astra. When tensions between superpowers were at an all-time high during the Cold War, the U-2 Dragon Lady took to the sky as an unmatched feat of reconnaissance. This high-altitude espionage plane, created by the renowned Clarence Kelly Johnson and the bright minds at Lockheed's Skunk Works, became a key tool for gathering intelligence. The U-2 was a unique aircraft with long wings and a thin fuselage that allowed it to fly over enemy interceptors and surface-to-air missiles. The Dragon Lady's high-resolution cameras and sensor arrays acquired priceless data from the edge of space, offering a singular viewpoint that altered geopolitical tactics. From monitoring nuclear activities to surveilling military installations, the U-2 Dragon Lady was an invisible sentinel, a silent witness to the covert movements of nations. Its daring flights over denied airspace were feats of both courage and technological mastery, solidifying its place in history as a true pioneer of aerial reconnaissance. 
The U-2's legacy is still felt today, demonstrating the daring of human invention. It reminds us that even in the age of satellites and drones, the human touch and the pursuit of the unknown remain paramount. It continues to be a crucial tool in intelligence collecting and conflict prevention. Our journey into the maze of covert aviation exposes a tapestry filled with tales of innovation, bravery, and unyielding curiosity as we reflect on the U-2's daring flights into the annals of history. Each aircraft we've encountered has permanently altered the landscape of aviation, whether it was in the covert realms of experimental craft or the covert skies. But our quest for revelations in the skies does not stop with the Dragon Lady's wings. Behold, a true titan of technological prowess, the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, often dubbed the Stealth Bomber. The B-2 Spirit, created by the creative minds at Northrop Grumman's Advanced Development Programs, or the renowned Skunk Works, is an engineering marvel and a beautiful manifestation of ingenuity that pushes the boundaries of strategic aviation. The B-2's recognizable stealthy shape is proof of human ingenuity's capacity to evade radar detection and gives the aircraft an unmatched advantage in breaching heavily reinforced enemy defenses. Its status as a cornerstone of American air power has been cemented by its capacity to transport conventional and nuclear payloads over intercontinental distances. The B-2's effectiveness was notably showcased during Operation Allied Force in 1999, when it executed pinpoint strikes against key Yugoslav targets, validating its capacity to deliver precision strikes with devastating impact. The B-2 Spirit represents a cutting-edge future, despite the fact that its darkened exterior may conjure images of the night. It continues to be a tool of strategic deterrence and swift response due to the integration of cutting-edge avionics, an amazing range and variable payload options. We are reminded that the B-2's soul goes beyond simple engineering as we look inside its engine. It is a representation of humanity's daring ambition and a manifestation of innovation propelled by the never-ending quest for aeronautical superiority. And now, dear seekers of knowledge, our expedition leads us to a realm where earthly boundaries blur, the domain of drones and unmanned aerial vehicles. Here, innovation reaches new heights as we explore the MQ-9 Reaper, a sentinel of the skies. The MQ-9 Reaper, which resulted from American Air Force modernization efforts, is evidence of how aerial warfare is constantly changing. This unmanned marvel, with its imposing silhouette and autonomous skills, is a prime example of how technology and strategy can work together. The MQ-9 Reaper's role in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions has been pivotal, reshaping the landscape of data gathering and target identification. Its persistent loitering and lethal precision have earned it a prominent place in contemporary conflict scenarios. The Reaper functions as an unwavering sentinel, constantly watchful from above, tracing elusive targets and removing high-value threats. Due to its modular construction, it can accommodate a wide range of payloads and can adapt to the demands of changing mission profiles. As our journey draws to a close, we stand in awe of these marvels, from the stealthy Black Manta to the visionary MQ-9. Each aircraft embodies the spirit of human creativity, pushing the limits of what we understand and what we can achieve. These aircraft are not just machines. They are a testament to the unyielding quest for innovation. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.